The Mouth Body Doctor. Although allopathic medicine and dentistry treat the body as though it was solid, Einsteinian and quantum physics tells us that there may be no such thing as matter. Indeed, recent developments in imaging have confirmed the teachings of the traditional Indian and Chinese healing traditions as shown here. What these ancient wisdoms maintain is that what we regard as matter is actually consciousness, energy or spirit, creating the appearance of what we perceive as the physical universe. Our bodies act as receivers of high vibrational universal energy, chi or prana, and reduce it into what appears to us to be solid matter by a series of step-down transformers known as chakras that lie along the length of the spine. Each of these chakras is associated with a subtle energy body of which the innermost is the physical body that we can perceive. The etheric body contains the blueprint for the physical body and it is in these energy bodies that vibrational remedies and homeopathics exert their influence, reprogramming the information which creates the physical. Energy from the chakras is then circulated through two main reservoir meridians running up the front and back of the body which feed into a system of 12 bilateral energy meridians which animate all of the tissues of the body. The teeth and their sockets all have energy meridians associated with them. acupuncture points are where the physical and energetic bodies interface and they have up to one-fifth the electrical resistance and several hundred times the electrical capacitance of the skin elsewhere and can be detected using electrical sensors. Acupuncture has developed a sophisticated system of boosting sluggish meridian flows and redirecting energies in overactive meridians much as you would control water in waterways or electricity in a grid. This understanding of the body as an energy system is important to dentistry for a number of reasons. The first is that what we do in the mouth can have effects in distant tissue and organ systems as determined by the meridian flows, so that the retention of a dead and infected root-filled tooth will compromise meridian flows through the associated meridian and restorative metals may also either block or produce electrostimulation of the meridians as a result of galvanism. The second reason is that poor or sluggish meridian flows can produce dental disease and will continue to do so until the underlying cause is addressed. In fact, via this system we are constantly exchanging information with the whole and it with us as we are all parts of a holofractographic universe in which there is only the appearance of separation. To quote Ram Das, it's all God in drag. Or to put it another way, in the words of the futurist and agnostic Robert Jastrow, for the scientist who has lived by his faith in the power of reason the story ends like a bad dream. He has scaled the mountains of ignorance. He is about to conquer the highest peak. As he pulls himself over the final rock, he is greeted by a band of theologians who have been sitting there for centuries. Dr. Allison Adams is the Mouth Body Doctor. Holistic Health from Top to Toe.